Folks, I'm going to start today's vlog with a bit of a moan and a grump. I've got my first winter flu, man flu, sniffles, sore throat. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm not feeling that good. I feel like I've got razors in my throat and I'm sounding quite gruff. But that's what happens this time of year. Yesterday I did a meet up with another YouTuber called The Wee Scottish Lass. You guys should go and check her out. We are doing a collaboration, but I'm not going to release that video for a little while. And you'll see why closer to the time. But at the moment we're keeping it under wraps it's a really awesome video that's going to come up both on my and her channel and yeah you guys go and check her out already i'm looking forward to that video coming out and i promise you it's going to be worth the wait anyway i'm going out with the family today to get some lunch Scottish breakfast. I thought that was real. So after that amazing lunch, we've decided to come for a wee drive and come to a new castle that none of us have ever been to called Hales. Proper like country bumpkin stuff. Single track farm. You can smell the farm as well. We are here. Wow, another castle to tick off the list. You can always tell when winter's coming when you've got berries on the trees. Not far away. Here we are anyway. Hales Castle. What did you say about Mary Queen of Scots? She was seven year old. Really? Look at this. Marital problems. So we bridge down here, look. That's the entrance. Oh this is nice. It's quite a pretty place. I found what looks like the pigeon house. Back in those days, they never had the luxury of the, all the different meats and foods that we have today, so they used to eat pigeons and eat their eggs as well. And I know this because when I was at Tantal and Castle last week, they had something similar. See these boxes, these were pigeon boxes. I'd love to be able to get up here without causing injury to myself. But let's see, let's put my camera up here for a sec. Is it stable? I'm as high as you up here, no, no, please. You're not a boogie jumper. A what? You just made up a word, a boogie jumper. What the hell is a boogie jumper? Just jump. <laughs> if I can get over there, there is a stairwell which leads around the corner. I think we should go inside the castle properly now. Look at that red sandstone. We should take a photo there. It's one thing, I just love the colour of these red sandstone walls, which is really typical of this area. You can see them up there, here, bright red. Absolutely beautiful. Over on this side as well. Rich, rich red. This looks like the main castle chamber, to be honest. That down there is the River Tyne. Go there. You can see the farm right on the other side. There's a bit of an underground dungeon thing down there that my mum's just been to. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wow. Look at this place. That's a river down there. Every good castle needs a prison. I don't know what this was. This is like an underground chamber. If there's a haunted place in this castle, there probably is. I'll look on Wikipedia after. I bet you it's this general area. Wow. Look at that. I don't know if I'm brave enough to go inside there, but. Yeah? Well, it's like a room. You guys should come. Wow. I'm all lighting it up with my iPhone torch. Look at that. Pyrotechnics. I hope there's no ghost back here. This is where the ghost would be. So actually there'll be no ghost here. This is just an oven. So the giant pizza. Giant pizza? You think they made giant pizza here? 
You guys heard that? My mom says there's giant pe they made pizzas in this big round stuff. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. I just found like someone's rug or something. Hey Sean, stop it. I'm here. Do you think I should disturb it? No. Mm. Maybe I should not yeah, I'm just... go near that. It's like a it's like an old monk's robe or something. I'm gonna keep that light behind me so I can see what is behind me as I walk out of this place. Thank goodness for the iPhone light. Tell you what, that has saved my life now for the last couple of trips in places like this. Yes. Again, this show. Dormi aqui, né? E alguém deixou uma manta, um casaco, sei lá aqui. Não mexerei. Take us Instagramming. The lines here is obviously to tell you to keep off of the original stonework. So I'm gonna stick to that. Another creepy little bridge. There's like a some kind of trap door up there. I wonder if that's where they hung people or if it's just a well. Oh. What is it? Just looks like a well. Strange. I do not know anything. You know what though? So last week we went to Tantalan Castle, which is not far from here. Today we're at Hales Castle. Yesterday I shot something equally historic and spooky with the wee Scottish lass, which you will see soon. So this is October, the month of Halloween. It's kind of a giveaway, a bit of a hint as to what the the collaboration video I'm doing with Wee Scottish Lass is about. But let's just say this should be a month of, I think this should be like a month of historic sites in tribute to Halloween. Which is obviously at the end of October. I'm going to try and visit a few more castles and stuff, why not? There's so many that are quite close to where I live because they are quite spectacular. And living pieces of Scottish history. Amazing. That sound by the way, sounds like a beehive. Is my dad's drone. It's the only thing that's spoiling the silence up here. Up there somewhere. Bit of a chamber in here. Wow, that drone is loud. See there? That there is the drone. Scottish history is amazing. Don't just stick to Edinburgh Castle. There's a lot more spectacular places as well. I am on the castle wall now. But I tell you what, I know there's a big drop down there, so... I shouldn't go too far. All in all, actually, the castle that we can see still standing there is quite a small part of it because all of this was all part of the building as well. You can actually see foundations all around the grass here. For example, in here, you can still see one last pillar standing on this far end. One thing about the this time of year, I don't particularly enjoy the cold, but what I do like, I really, really enjoy the colours of autumn. So. You probably saw on the drive over here, I put some film footage in of the colours of the trees, they turn such a brilliant colour of orange and we're one or two weeks away from that really starting to pop and I will be out with the camera when the autumn colours are out fully because this whole area just becomes really really beautiful and really photogenic as well. My mum is Instagramming as well. My mum's an Instagrammer. Just like me, I'll put a link to her Instagram. She takes some nice photos of family and stuff. There you go. No family, only places. You're in one of them. It's a nice Instagram. It is, it's very good. So yeah, go and follow my mum. We're on our way back home now, but we saw this amazing wildflower, wildflower garden here. I'm going to stop and take a photo because it is incredible. Check how pretty this is. No idea who's responsible for this. Probably whoever lives in this house here. It is magnificent. There you go. Hunts Agricultural Services, probably those guys. Now it's time for home. 